To disable the onboard video, go to your Start menu. Here, I am using Windows 7, and you will notice that above the Start menu icon, there is a white text box that says Search Programs and Files. This is called the Search Box, and it is available on Windows 7 and Windows Vista. The equivalent program to the Search Box for Windows XP users is the Run command. To disable the onboard video, left-click inside the Search Box, or left-click on Run for Windows XP users and type the following file name, devmgmt.msc, and then press Enter to access Device Manager. Note that under Display Adapters, there are two devices for connecting your monitor to. On this computer, the first device is the onboard video, and the second device is the card we just installed. If I right-click on the second device and select Properties from the shortcut menu, note that under Device Status it says that this device cannot start. This is because the drivers have not been installed yet. To install the drivers for this device, we need to right-click on the onboard video device in Device Manager and select Disable. You will be asked to confirm the changes before Windows applies them. Click Yes to confirm. Notice that after disabling the onboard video, Windows 7 indicates this by showing a white circle with a black arrow pointing down next to the icon. For Windows XP users, a disabled device is indicated with a red X next to the icon. To confirm the device is disabled, right-click on the onboard video device and select Properties to check the device status. After disabling the onboard video, Windows may or may not ask you to restart your computer. If prompted to restart, select No, go to your Start menu, and shut down your computer. After which, you can disconnect your monitor from the onboard video and plug it into your installed video card. After shutting down your computer, you want to disconnect your VGA monitor from your onboard video. Now, this is what our newly installed graphics card looks like from the back of the computer. Depending on what card you may have, the one we are using comes with two DVI ports, an HDMI port, and a display port for better graphics quality. If you have a monitor that is only VGA compatible, this card comes with a DVI to VGA adapter. You would take your VGA cable, connect it to the DVI to VGA adapter, and then take the adapter and connect it to a DVI port on your graphics card. If your monitor is DVI compatible, then you'll have a DVI cable like this one here. All you have to do is take the cable and connect it to your graphics card. And then secure the screws. It does not matter which DVI port you use with this card. So once it is connected, just turn on your computer and install the drivers for your card. 